Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris with Kristen's Crafts and today I am bringing you the last of my shares for the, my Joanne Fabrics paper haul. Uh, I had ordered seven um, paper pads from Park Lane when they were on sale over the 4th of July weekend. Thought I'd share them with you so in case you're interested in these you can get a closer look. Uh, the first video I put out was um, showing the Sweet Melody and the Floral Spice paper pads. Then uh, yesterday would have been the Greenhouse and Bloom and Grow paper pads. And today I'm going to be sharing with you the Mariposa, the Nice Day, and the Sunny Days. Um, the last two are probably my favorite paper pads out of all seven of them. So just wanted to get, um, let you see them in case this is something that you'd be interested in. Um, as I said in the previous um, videos, that Joey Fabrics, they go and show you the, like the main page, but they don't show you each of the details, at least not from like my phone where I order them. So I feel like this is kind of a good way if you're, if you're interested to actually see if the different designs are what you're looking for. So let's go ahead and start with Mariposa. Again, there's 48 sheets in the paper pad, two of each design, and some of them include gold foiling. These were on sale for around $13 and then I had a 20% off discount. And I usually will only buy these when they have a sale or there's really good shipping on it. So uh, this paper pad kind of reminds me um, a little bit of like Minte maybe. I don't know, let me know what you think of who it reminds you of. Maybe even a little simple stories in there. So this one is just a really pretty background with florals, butterflies, birdcage, um, some text print in the background. Very, very pretty. I know some people have a hard time using this kind. If you do, remember the back is white. You can use that for matting. You can use it for, um, you know, covering it up. But also remember, you don't have to use it as a whole. You can cut a three or four inch strip and use it as a band if you want to do a band kind of layout or design. This one is kind of a um, like a goldenrod um, with the yellowish color with pretty tone-on-tone -tone florals. The next pattern is a whole sheet of butterflies. I don't know if I'd use this as a background but definitely would cut it up. Um, I think they're a little bit small for me to fussy cut but never say never with me. I have fussy cut way smaller stuff. So those are sweet. This one is just a nice uh, pink floral pattern on black. Here we have, oh, this one's just, that's not in the, looks like my paper pad got some dirt. This one didn't have it. So um, this is like a floor de lis in the background, tone on tone with a um, peachy color. Here we have some border strips that you can use or use it as a full, cut it in strips, however you want to use it. And the pretty um, blues and the yellows and the greens. Love it, very spring. Here we have um, what I affectionately call the wallpaper background or wallpaper paper. Um, it's more of a checked uh, design diagonal pattern, but then it has a little floral pattern in here like you'd see with wallpaper in a, um, off-white color in the background and green or print. Here is, this one kind of reminds me almost of um, 49th and Market even. So a, a very collaged with the gold embossing, the text prints. Um, again, some people may find this hard to use. Just think of it as chunking it up. You could cut that out. You know, fussy cut some of the butterflies out use it in pieces, use it for matting. Um, you know, there are ways to use it and I'll try and show those on my channel as well. This one here is an off-white background with um, sweet um, red uh, florals on a vine, um, some butterflies and bird cages. Here is another one of those collage papers with an off-white and golden colored um, background. A lot of um, gold foiling in the uh, bird's nest and butterflies, the floor de lis, um, some text print, things like that. 
here we have a black background with um, gold foiling on the floor de lis Here's another page that with the band, it's already pretty much made for you with the butterfly background, a journaling spot. So you could go and mat your photos on here and then build up on this cluster. If this isn't your cup of tea, maybe you just wanna cut out and use the stripe, you know, half of it and do a six by six and use, you know, one half of the page. Here we have an off uh, cream colored background with green circles and orange dots around the edges of that. Very cute. Another one that kind of reminds me of 49th and Market with all the pink and yellow florals. And then you have the butterflies in the yellow and green. And there's some pink in there. Very pretty. This one is cream colored background with um, a little frame with the butterfly in the center on a diagonal. Another kind of a collage print where you have the back, um, the different depths of, um, with like a watermark here and then the florals above and the gold foiling and a journaling tag. So again, you could build your cluster here for, you know, maybe your title or you could, um, you know, do your journaling here and then add to it to bring it dimension. Here we have um, green tone on tone with um, book pages and florals watermarked on there. Here we have another one with the text prints and then different depths of watermarking. Um, so you have some of it in the background and then coming forward with more of the um, the florals and the butterflies in the corners with some distressing on the edge. Here you have a green tone on tone with floor de lis in the pattern, and then a little bit of the corners have the florals and then the bird cage and bird. Here is another one with the text box, and then again more tones. So you have the um, the swirly. Um, what do they call that, that pattern? Pais uh, the paisley pattern in the background, very light. And then you have bringing to the foreground the more of the um, florals and like the almost like a floor de lis kind of print, the ivy and the butterflies. Here you have a cream background with white florals or black florals. So a nice black and white print. Here's a cream color background with gold foiling in the music notes. This would be kind of a um, distressed looking with kind of a lightish blue green in the background and then the um, kind of the jade green, blue green in the um, foreground with little bursts and some little ivy leaves, very pretty. Here is kind of an off-white to the pink tone background and then little pink and yellow buds and with the green um, leaves and things. So that is Mariposa, very um, 49 and Mark-ish um, or um, Simple Story, some of their, their lines that they have out right now. The next one we have is Nice Day. If you're looking for something bright, fun, um, summary kind of um, on the Amy Tangerine, Vicki Booten kind of a look. This might be the one you're looking for. This is Park Lane's Nice Day. There's 48 sheets and this one includes holographic foil. So again, um, there will be two of each pattern in here. So this one is your pink floral with the holographic, holographic um, flower buds with pink um, and blues. A nice blue grid pattern. This one's kind of a rainbow or a variegated going from pink down to the, the brighter yellow. And then you have the diagonal um, dots going on with holographic dots going on the angle. Here we have a nice floral with a little bit of yellow tucked in here and there. Very cute. Your raindrops in blue, and it's on kind of a, um, a lighter blue background. A 
very holographic diagonal floral page. And it does, again, go variegated from like an orangish color to pink to blue. So it looks like it was like watercolored and then with the um, holographic embossing over the top. Here is a nice pink background with a lot of rainbows and clouds. A nice uh, polka dots, random, you know, like little paint splashes in a variety of colors. Here we have another variegated going from pink down to an orange, very watercolor. You can see the textures in the paper. Be great for a background. Here we have just a page of multicolored hearts. And a beautiful rainbow in the rainbow colors. pink background with orange roses and then there is some pink flowers mixed in. A nice diagonal stripe in yellow. Another fun and bright floral with multicolors of reds and blues and greens. Here we have a nice text print with some great sayings on there. Anything, um, let's see, Accomplish anything, love life, you are powerful, be proud, be yourself, be free of worry. So great ask, um, um, inspirational quotes and things. Uh, believe in yourself, choose joy, good affirmations. Here is a nice uh, pink background with dotted white, pink, and blue uh, polka dots. Here we have a green background, a tone on tone with green circles that are um, kind of linked. Another fun uh, floral background. These flowers are a little bit bigger on a white background. Again, using the multicolors of the pink, the yellow, the reds, the blues. Fun, fun, fun. Here is a nice blue background with holographic stars. I love this one. This is a nice uh, white background with black polka dots and yellow stripes, and the stripes look like they were painted on. Here we have that geometric circular pattern again in purple. Here we have a floral and rainbow in blue, and then there's little holographic um, dots on here. Very cute. Rainbow stripes, little pinstriping going on there. And the last page is the cut aparts. And again, using good um, affirmations that can be used for scrapbooking, but also I think that you could use these for making cards like you got this, good vibes, um, enjoy the little things, never give up on your dreams. So great um, card sayings that you could cut apart and use the paper for as well. So again, this one is Nice Day. And the last one that I'm gonna share with you today is called Sunny Days. This one uh, very much reminds me of Simple Stories, Sunny Day, or their summer collection from last year, or Vicki Booten's, um, I think um, she hers was a couple really bright summer ones, but the one that comes to mind is like the Simple Stories. So the first thing we have is our, oh, I think it was cocoa vanilla. Now I got it. So the first one we have is our cut aparts. Again, um, great for layouts. Um, also good for cards like you are one in a melon. Um, let's see. Always look on the bright side, enjoy your ride. So I think you could use some of these for cards. A nice um, water background with the waves and the nice tone-on-tone -on -tone blue. Here we have a white background with all kinds of beach and swimming and summer type stuff. So your umbrella, your um, suntan lotion, your floaties, swimming suits, flip-flops, etc. Very cute. This one's a tone-on-tone -tone floral on pink. Here we have our blue background. It's kind of, um, it looks like it's a painted background with um, sketchy little watermelons painted on top. 
This one looks like it's um, like the smushing technique. So there's texture of that watermelon pink color, but then there's the little watermelon seeds in there. Very cute for uh, watermelon pictures. Here we have a white background with um, lolly or um, popsicles and ice cream cones. Here's another one on that watermelon color, and then it's the foiling of watercolor on here, and like that reddish foiling. Here is another striped background in pink and yellow and blue and white. This one is um, a yellow background, and it looks like it's like the smushing technique through the whole thing, um, different layers and depths of it. Here is another summertime, like a picnic background. So you have your lemonade, your hot dogs, your hamburgers, your picnic baskets, popsicles, pie, and all on a, like a painted blue background. Fun diagonal stripe with the uh, foiled red in there as well. Here we have a cream to yellow tone background with the bunting on the top. This one is a checkerboard pattern in light pink and darker pink. And then you have your little um, flower buds in the center. Here we have a yellow, um, kind of a distressed again, like the smushing technique with yellow dots or um, like light white dotted. Here you have the watermelon background or almost to a red color with your sunbursts. A white background with red foiled bicycles with a little basket of florals. Pink tone on tone grid pattern. And then you have your blue background with your text pattern saying summertime. And then some of these are the red foiled. Here we have our white background with multicolored florals and the pinks and the reds and the yellows. I love this one. It's just the white background with the uh, navy blue pinstriping. Here we have one that's like the watercolor look in blue that looks like the sky. And it uh, actually looks like it was printed on watercolor paper because you can see like the, the texture in the background like you'd see on a textured cardstock, but it's a smooth. Here you have your border strips. Again, you have your fun summer outfits, your hamburgers, pretzels, and food, your rainbows, your fun water toys, um, more popsicles and snow cones, so very cute. Here's another painted background with white daisies, and that is it. So a lot of fun, like I said, this one is probably my favorite because I really did love the simple stories and the cocoa vanilla summertime collections last year and it's nice and bright so um i think this one's a good deal so anyways thank you so much for stopping by i do have another haul video that i will bring up tomorrow um my order that i got from vicky Booten came in so i just thought i'd share that i did get some um stencils and distress goodies and a little bit more 49th and market from her and then I think that's it for shares and we'll get some stuff made and have some fun. Thanks and you have a great day. Bye.